So bar charts are very important in data visualization and many people use bar charts for so many different things. So we are just going to use our scatter data that we had previously for this. Now when you come to bar and then you drop down the first five which is the simple, the grouped with error and all are for vertical and then the next five are for horizontal. So for vertical, you have your bars pointing this way and the change is on the Y axis. However, for this five, the change is on the X axis. So let's start with um, the simple vertical. Now for simple vertical, okay. So create graph. So we're just coming to bar chart, create graph. And then from here, let's just go to vertical bar chart next. And let's just go for simple bar. So for simple bar, you go to next and you can choose Y only. So X is assumed for you, but we'll go with X, Y. And let's choose our X to be our first column and then let's choose our bar to be this one and you can go ahead and hit finish and you have a simple bar created for you so we had one we had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you can have this easily and the same way that we customized in the previous section you can do it the same way so you can just click on object and edit them as object if you want or you can also double click to the graph properties and then you can change the or you can modify the graph you can also modify the axis uh, you can also modify the plot itself so if you have let's say fill you can change the fill color and then change the pattern edge you can you can play around with this change the transparency the gradient angle you can add a pattern if you desire so you can just modify your graph this way you can change the bar width make it thin no change the style, change the alignment. So all these things can be modified as we already showed. So let's just delete this one and then come back to bar. Now we have grouped vertical. So for grouped vertical, it's just the same, but you're gonna have the opportunity to have many bars and then you group them under one X axis. So let's just go with X mini Y and let's set our X to be this one. So our set one can be, let's say this one and then set two will be this one. And then we can even add a set three. Okay, I don't have any data for set three, but let's just repeat it. So let's make our set three this one again and then set for this one so we're gonna get like four groups so yeah that's what we have we have four groups um yeah so you have like four groups together i think i chose one error bar yeah so that's also that um you can always click and then modify so let's go into yeah i chose this set as an error we can just delete that and hit to finish now we have three groups so you can also edit this the same let's just double click and then now we have all these sections that we can modify um can come to like fill and change the colors 
you can come to the bar width and change them as we've done you can also come in and just select let's say this one and change the color this way to let's say whatever that you want to change it so let's zoom in a little bit and then you can change the line colors you can also change how it's filled choose the wrong one let's choose yeah so you can also do that as well so the same way that we edit it you can always come in and just play around with it easily so let's get rid of this one and then come to bar again now we can have vertical bar with error so now you're gonna have your vertical bar but you have error at the top so let's just go with our worksheet because that's where our error is but you can go with the mean or anything here let's go with x y and then let's choose column one as our x and wait so let's choose one as our x and then our bar is y one and then our error should be four so hit to finish now we are seeing error bar attached to it and we can also edit this the same now once we go into graph properties we see that error bar shows because we've added error bars to our plot and we can just go in and edit them as usual edit let's say this to blue change this to red and then play around with them let's go to let's say the error bar now let's change the error bar to something else let's try black and now the direction is from um, is pointing upwards we can do it both ways now it comes in we can also change it any way that we want it so the same way that we customize the previous plot we can come in and change this you can also just select it so let's zoom in a little bit you can just select right click and then change the line color if you desire and also change let's say add pattern to it so let us add pattern to the bar itself so you can also play along with all these and that is how easy it is to customize your plot and everything that you change the effect shows in your legend so let's get rid of this one again come to bar now you're gonna have grouped vertical bar plus error so that is also something cool if you have multiple you've grouped and you also want error so let's just go to x many y and then let's choose one wait so let's choose one here and then our set one is going to be this one so let's choose two and then our set one error let's choose four and then now set two so our set two is going to be three and then set two error let's choose four again and hit to finish so now you have you have them this way so you've grouped them and then you've added error bars to it as well and you can go in and edit them as we've already shown very nicely the next one will be the bar and then you can also do stacked vertical plot so for stacked plot you have one column and then you stack another column on top of it so you can let's say choose x many y let's choose our x to be one and then our first stack to be uh two and then let's choose our next stack to be three and you can go on and on and hit to finish so now you've stacked one and then you've stuck two on it and you can come in and just edit as we've done 
so you can just add fails and add all of them as well so you can let's say change this color to maybe red and you can just customize each of them individually if you don't want to do them as a group so that's something cool to do and you can always play around with this and customize the axis and customize the legion make it very attractive for your presentations now we've dealt with the vertical the same applies for the horizontal let me just show one of it so for instance you can come into vertical and let's do let's say vertical just simple vertical simple horizontal i mean and now you have y x so it means your y is going to be constant but your x changes so let's choose for our y which is going to be constant let's choose one and then our x is going to change so let's choose two so now you see it's just flipped about 90 degrees if you flip it back you're just having your usual vertical so that is also same and you can customize it the same way